Hi, my Geminis. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for the week of February 5th, 2018. Um, <clears throat> I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. You can make a web, you can make a purchase there, <laughs> or you can use Google Wallet, Cash App, or my Facebook GoFundMe. Um, my readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Keep in mind, the $8 one question, one answer is not a reading. It's a one question, one answer via email only. I do not have PayPal. I do not um, do pre-recorded readings. I don't do email readings. I don't do readings on WhatsApp. I do readings over the phone. Um through Skype or um, through FaceTime. So Gemini's, we got a four card spread here. Everything's looking good for you guys. There's just a little bit of stuff you should be aware of. So we got the 10 of cups. We have the four of cups. We've got the moon card and then we got the page of cups. So with all of these cards, this is what's going on. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you found happiness. You found your place, you found what you want, you've got it, but you're still not satisfied. I feel like a lot of you, um, if you can look back to a year ago, two years ago, things are much better now. But for some of you, it's still not good enough. The progress you've made, you can't seem to see it. Um, we do have big emphasis on Pisces here and Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. So Gemini, um, this could be you or this could be somebody else. It could be somebody else that's found happiness with you, but it's still not good enough. They still want more from you. Or they still want more out of life. Or they think the grass is greener somewhere else. So somebody's just not um, giving you what you want. I also do see that there is Scorpio, strong Scorpio energy here. Um, so with that kind of thing, I feel like somebody just can't be pleased. There's going to be a lot of in and out, up and down, back and forth going on. Um, it's up to you if you want to continue this. It's up to you if you want to end this. But with the Four of Cups, I feel like some of you want to talk to an ex, but they're not answering you. Um, or somebody's reaching out to you, Gemini, the cross watchers, you might be trying to contact a Gemini and this Gemini is just not responding, not saying anything to you, not, just, just not, you know, responding. I do see that for some of you, this is for some of you, you have, um, oh no, 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 you have a, um, you have, for some of you, you have someone that's seeing someone else right now. So if it's, if, you have, if your relationship is just fine, if you're currently coupled up, but all of a sudden your partner is being distant, ignoring you, being a little bit shady, um, not really telling you the truth, um, I feel like it could be because they're seeing someone else. Um, this could be um, made aware of where to you, I feel like this week or the beginning of the next week. And I also feel like for a lot of you, if you just kind of put the pieces together, you're going to be able to figure it out. Like, usually if somebody's not calling, if your partner's not wanting to do it with you, they're usually doing it with someone. It's typically how it goes. So, consider that. Um, also, some of you, um, your appearance. Um, some of you are feeling like your appearance just is not good enough, or some of you have eating disorders. Something about appearance is going on here. And um, somebody's very proud to be with you. Somebody likes to be with you, but for some reason, you're thinking that, that somebody doesn't like you. That somebody's just like, oh, you know. Just stand over there. Keep stay away from me. That's not what's going on. It's in your head. Um, or or there's a water sign that feels this way about you that you're doing this to them. Um, but it's all in their head. I feel like you're attractive. I feel like they're attractive. I also see here with the moon card that um there are secrets, but I feel like the secrets are are going to be brought to the surface so quickly that it'll be like well, and I feel like it's not even that big of a deal. I feel like it's going to be like, well, I just want to tell you that remember when, you know, your um, your piece of cheese was missing and you didn't know who took it? Well, I took it. It's something very, very simple, very like, it doesn't matter. But something's going to be brought to light. Somebody's going to confess something to you, but it, it's nothing like huge. I also see that for some of you um, with business, with that, with cancer, that we're dealing with cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in business, if you're partnered up with them for a business or a business idea, or they gave you an idea, I feel like you're going to want to contact them. I also feel like um, to thank them or, or just tell somebody that, you know what, I think it's not for me. There's going to be something about business. I also see that for a lot of you, um, when it does come to work and business, you will be getting phone calls about raises, bonuses, um, some, some sort of an email to come into the office, to come talk. Somebody likes your work, so you, sh you can expect good things. I also do see that there will be pregnancy here. Coming up, um, some of you were worried about fertility issues. You are going to be getting results back that you're that everything's fine. Um, 
I do see that for some of you, it's kind of, it's like you have everything, but you're just not satisfied. That's the overall energy I get. Somebody's really grown. Somebody's really gotten far in the past two years, one year, six months. It's kind of like somebody went from having nothing and to being completely lost to having all the, all their needs met and to being found. And they're still not happy. So, as I mentioned before, that's a good way to block your blessings is to, is to always be complaining. Always being, well, I want, I, I didn't get, like, that's a really good way to block your blessings. So, hopefully it's not you that's doing this, Gemini. Hopefully it's somebody else and hopefully they'll, they'll figure that out. That that's blocking their blessings by not being satisfied. It doesn't mean settle for whatever trash comes your way, but it does mean... Be thankful when, when, when you're supposed to be. Because realistically, I mean, nobody owes anybody anything. We all have free will. We are, we're all leading a life. And if yours isn't going the way you want it to, you need to fix it. It's just that simple. The poor me stuff has to stop, whether it's coming from you or a water sign. I'm picking up strong water energy that's just like, ugh, yeah. Some of it's good energy. Some of it's really, really toxic energy. So if somebody's giving you the runaround, Gemini, I mean, I would, I would use my, if it, if it was me, I would be like, okay, listen, you're not going to do this to me. You're not going to stress me out. You're not going to put me on the back burner. You're not going to tell me you want me and then you don't want me. You're not going to tell me you love me and then not call me for two weeks. Like you got to really, you know, be assertive here. All right, my Geminis, having a wonderful week. Ta-ta for now.